I'd like to take a moment to show you one of the best and most powerful features of WordPress. It's called the WordPress Reader. If you're using WordPress.com, you're normally used to seeing something like this. When you click on My Site, you see your statistics. You see all the um, options that you have for editing your site. And over here is a tab that maybe you've never clicked on, but the WordPress Reader hides there. And it takes advantage of the fact that there are billions of WordPress blogs. Maybe it's only hundreds of millions. But in any case, it does say that there are billions of WordPress posts. And if I want to write a blog post about a particular topic, one of the best ways to do it many times is to kind of springboard off of what someone else has done. So the WordPress reader allows you to search for something like mindfulness, which is a really popular topic these days. And it will search either according to relevance, according to dates. And one of the things that I can do, for example, so I find this nice post here, I can visit the site and read the post, which is always a good idea before you decide that you're going to share someone else's content. But what I can do here is just click on the sharing button and I can share this to Facebook, Twitter, or to my website. And when I do it, it looks like this. WordPress is going to pull in the title, which I can trim, the featured image, an excerpt, and a link back to the original site. From here, I can then continue to write a blog post. So in one swell foop, what I did was find a good post and share it to my own site All I'm doing here is trimming the title, but I would want to add transformative value and then go ahead and click the publish button. So when I do that, I'm bringing that content into my website. And what I've done is taken someone else's content and turned it into my own. Now, you might say, well, wait a minute, isn't that stealing? No, um, curation done well benefits everybody. It benefits the original publisher of the post because I'm helping them find a new audience. I'm also giving them a valuable link back to their content. And I'm also introducing my readers to new content. So again, when it's done right, everybody wins. So knowing that I have this powerful tool, there are a number of different ways that I can use it. First of all, I can follow specific websites. As you can see here, what I did, what I've already done is to follow three particular sites. And from that point forward, anything that they publish will automatically come into my reader. This is because of the magic of RSS that we've discussed earlier. So I can follow any particular website, like, see, what's another one that I, oh, I know. Okay, so I have a favorite website called Mind Body Green. When I click follow and I start following that website, 
from this point forward, any content that they publish will come into this news feed. Okay? The second thing the reader allows me to do is to track all of the conversations around my post. So if someone comments, then I'm going to know about it right away and I'm going to be able to manage these different um, these different uh, posts that come in. Furthermore, I can search for additional topics. Um, if I wanted to, I can follow this blog. And WordPress is going to select uh, different people or different posts or different websites to follow. And it's going to suggest that I follow them and I might want to share their, um, their content as well. I can also search billions of WordPress posts when I'm looking for particular uh, topics like evolutionary psychology. And not only do I find a list of blog posts, but I also find a list of websites that talk about this topic. As I travel through WordPress and I like uh, individual pieces of content, those will show up here as well. And then the last thing is, if there are particular topics that I'm interested in, like, let's say, mindfulness, compassion, I can add these words to my reader and from this point forward this content I can pull up this content at any time and see what other people are doing around those topics. And I might come across something like this that I want to reblog and curate for my own site. So think of it this way. The WordPress reader is another very valuable tool for making information come to you. And at the same time, it may be the component of WordPress that most people are the least familiar with. What do you think? Is this something useful that you'll incorporate into your blogging? Please comment below.